As these fragments unite, a portal gives way to the world of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. Monsters may not always be friendly, but they need homes too. Monster Meadows is a place where tamed monsters can live peacefully in somewhat natural habitats. It exists in a place lost in time, but luckily, you can access it through a portal you reach in the Haven. But first, you'll need to tame some of these bad boys. To do so, you must first acquire a certain snack from a certain shack in Monster Meadows. Beat a beast in battle while carrying monster munchies, and there's a chance you'll tame them. Luckily, the Big Book of Beasts displays a monster's ease of taming, and meat can be used to coax them over to the good side. Plus, the Monster Masher vocation has a passive effect that also makes it easier to tame monsters. Once tamed, you can build habitats for them using blueprints found on your journey. And over time, Monster Meadows will expand to include other areas. To make the most of your tamed monsters, talk to this guy. He'll let you form a team of three monsters and send them off to explore a cave. When they return, they'll retrieve a Traveler's Tablet that unearths a randomly generated dungeon. You can then share that Traveler's Tablet by sending the leader of your monster party to another player's haven via the Street Pass function. We'll take a look at the new Street Pass features and much more about Dragon Quest VII as we approach the game's launch on September 16th.